Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. But today, I'm actually not on our homestead. I'm at my mom and dad's homestead, Hummingbird Homestead, again here in beautiful upstate New York, only about 15 minutes away from us. And folks, look at the beautiful views here. Just absolutely gorgeous. God's country here. Uh, my mom and I have been uh, picking currants here so I can kick her butt in uh, the uh, Washington County Fair uh, Jams and Jellies contest. Uh, she and I always go head to head and I always kick her butt. Well, except for last year, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, but I just wanted to show you around because my dad uh, just does an awesome job. Um, and I just wanted to give you kind of a view of his raised beds here. So right down this row here, he's got some cucumbers going on. Got some beets, some onions, and uh, some um, dill in this bed. This part here is empty. Uh, he's got some chives down through here. His uh, tomatoes are, are coming up there in the middle. And uh, then in here, we've got some more beets, and uh, I'm not even sure what all. Uh, let's just take a look right on down through here. Um, but just look at this. Just lush, great, uh, great raised beds. And then uh, down over here, he's got uh, more raised beds that he's put in. And part of the reason why my dad does um, raised beds here is uh, this, this ground here is it's clay and it's really really bad clay and so he's just opted to put in these raised beds but if you look right over here behind me beautiful horse farm and uh down in here i mean you can't hardly see it but uh is where they actually compost their horse manure so my dad just goes down there um and uh, gets horse manure brings it up here puts it in his raised beds and uh, you can see he's got brassicas here uh looking good um what's he got looks like some kind of maybe a beet i'm not sure um he's out mowing right now so i'm, I'm shooting this video he's mowing in the, in the front yard uh some more brassicas coming up here uh some more tomatoes all oh, does look like he's got a little bit of a weed problem on this bed here peppers down through there uh look at his peas his peas are looking great um looks like some potatoes in here looking great um, and then uh, he's got corn in these beds here. Some more volunteer tomatoes, it looks like. Um, just, he does, his gardens just always look great. And uh, kind of an inspiration to me. Um, he's got, he's got uh, some, looks like some more, I'm not sure what this is. This looks like some kind of cabbage or some kind of a brassica in here. Uh, this is his um, asparagus beds, which are really starting to fill in real nicely here. Uh, I think sure what he's got in here to be honest with you um again if you were here he'd tell us looks like he's got a blackberry in here another blackberry over there got some corn in here um but uh yeah he's just if you would have seen this place when uh, they first bought it to where it is today it's just absolutely amazing um what my dad has been able to accomplish. He's got some fruit trees started over there. He's got some squash and potatoes in this uh, in this bed here. Um, and then over here are his uh, beehives. Um, so he's got bees down through here. Bunch of different beehives, different styles of uh, beehives that he's got going on down through here. Um, over here, he's got his chickens, his rabbits. He's got rabbit hutch here. Looks like he's got some uh, lamb's quarters that he needs to feed to the rabbits. But uh, chicken coop that we built last year. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I just figured I would give you, uh, actually I think he's got some more raised beds up here towards the front uh, part of the, uh, the yard here. Um, not quite sure what he's got uh, going on over there. There he is across the road. Got his big old hat on getting uh, some lawn mowing done. Uh, I'm not sure what else he's got up in here. I know at one point he had blueberries in here, but it looks like the weeds have kind of taken these raised beds over. Up in this section here is uh, an area where he is actually planting right in the ground. He's been trying to work on this. Got some climbing beans here. Got some corn over there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I tell you, it is just absolutely awesome 
to see what my dad has done here on the Humming Bee Homestead. And uh, so they, uh, my mom and dad put up tons and tons of, uh, I mentioned tons and tons, but uh, they do a lot of canning, a lot of freezing, a lot of preserving. And uh, like I've shared with you before, um, this whole thing for, for me is uh, it's what I grew up with. Um, and while my mom and dad uh, did step away from this lifestyle for a while because they were missionaries um, to Brazil, uh, as soon as uh, they retired from that and came back uh, to the States, um, this is what they've been doing. And uh, man, I tell you, if that doesn't let you fire and get you inspired, I don't know what will. Whew. So uh, anyhow, folks, just thought I would share this with you. Um, a quick update here. 3B Farm and Homestead live on location here at the Humming Bee Homestead in beautiful upstate New York. Just a gorgeous day here, enjoying the views on this beautiful, beautiful uh, summer day here in, uh, in upstate New York. So until next time, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, please like, share, subscribe. Hopefully you've enjoyed this live on location, 3B Farm and Homestead, hitting the road. And uh, so until next time, we'll catch you later.